effect because of this thing going and particularly because some of the pictures are morphed and they are they are picked up from elsewhere and they are distributed and that's what i think made the government angry it's not that there is a factual reporting taking place here these are pictures picked up from uh, some other countries myanmar and so on and so forth and then uh, put on the site and this is therefore they were taken aback on the way the social media sites suddenly uh, started uh, multiplying it Mr. Qureshi, the Indian government is apparently angry. How angry will the Pakistani government be about these latest accusations? Well, let's take the good side of the news first. Uh, at least the Indian government didn't accuse Pakistan of getting the mobile text messaging technology from China. I mean, so there's hope in that. But uh, getting back to the point, I think I think this is Indian government really escaping forward, and this is a clearly an issue of ethnic tensions inside India that Pakistan really has nothing to do. There is no case really of any Pakistani meddling in this matter. Uh, geographically, this area where the problem uh, is exists is really very far away from Pakistan. There's no staging ground for Pakistan. I mean, I'm sure you know that Pakistan, for example, many people in Pakistan accuse. India of having some role, uh, a mischief against Pakistan in Afghanistan, which is an area uh, contiguous to uh, the Pakistani territory. But for Pakistan to meddle in in this kind of a matter, uh, an ethnic tension in the in the extreme eastern part of India would be impossible, nearly impossible. There is no staging ground for Pakistan physically to be involved, and of course, certainly. the the question of messages emanating from pakistan unless of course the indian government or and, and particularly the interior ministry comes up with some evidence i think this is absolutely ridiculous well they say they do have evidence the indian home secretary rk singh says that india has evidence that these uh, morphed images he says that spread panic among workers in southern indian cities were identified and that the bulk of them were in fact uploaded in pakistan i can't believe that the source of tension that would lead uh uh hundreds of thousands of indian citizens to really flee cities uh would be simply messages from pakistan i mean we're talking about here an issue uh, uh intrinsic to india and ethnic tension i mean we're you're talking about the eastern corridor that is uh, uh rife with strife and and insurgencies and separatist movements i mean this is a place where early last year or the year before an indian nuclear scientist disappeared from one of the nuclear installations in that part of india and was found floating dead in a river near that nuclear installation i mean this is a region that is really full of trouble full of problems and this incident the 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 theory that pakistani messages really resulted in hundreds of thousands of indian citizens running away from cities uh, doesn't really make right, sense Ahmed, so the, then, uh, if so the indian government does present the evidence if that is there is that trail of evidence that suggests that uh, these messages emanated from within pakistan What would the Pakistani government do? Will it cooperate? What will it do? I'm just surprised that my guest, uh, Mr. Singh from uh, New Delhi, who's saying that Indian government has never made claims without any evidence. Uh, just a couple of months back, the Indian government released a, a very high-level security alert about the entry of uh, uh, terrorists uh, uh, into the city of Mumbai, who were planning some terrorist attacks. And they released four photographs, and it turned out the four photographs were uh, were uh, sort of stolen from the identity cards of four Pakistani citizens who work as. telecom salesmen in the city of lahore who were interviewed on tv in pakistan and it was proven that the indian government had it wrong so they had no and it was a, a, an embarrassment of course for india uh, coming back to the social media thing there is unlike what both of my friends are uh, claiming here there is no previous evidence or history of of a campaign originating from pakistan on social media causing trouble inside india i mean this is ridiculous this is a conspiracy theory it has never happened before and any suggestion that there is a, a probability or a possibility is ridiculous and of course we'll wait for the evidence and i and i highly doubt this thing but let me just give you one reason why this kind of a problem could it could happen why why so many people could really uh, uh, get out and 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 could uh, there could be an exodus from indian cities um, in pune which is a small city uh, very close to mumbai Indian citizens who reside in that city came out and harassed some of these migrants from northeastern India beat them up as a result of whatever is happening in northeastern India so there is enough reason for the northeastern indian immigrants to really escape and run away because they don't trust 
the, 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 the level of tolerance in the Indian society. That's the only reason why you're seeing this mass exodus from major Indian cities of these, of these poor northeastern migrants and not any campaign or alleged campaign on social media emanating from Pakistan. I mean, why Sabir would Sena, Indian citizens Sabir really... Sena, let's, exactly. Let's, why would, why yeah. would Indian citizens really go and harass northeastern uh, Indian migrants in Mumbai, in Pune, in Bangalore? They beat them up on the streets. I Sabir mean, this Sena, is a record what do you say Indian to this media. argument, then? Exactly. What does Pakistan stand to gain from spreading this type of tension and chaos across the border? Uh, as far as uh, the four people whose pictures were uh, circulated in the Indian... Uh, uh, you know, by the Indian security agencies. Once again, he's correct, except for one of them, who later on was found to have been a recruiting agent for uh, the, the uh, Jamaat ud Dawa. So, you know, That's just the fact true. that the Indian That's agencies incorrect. made mistakes. That's incorrect. Uh, this has been reported sir, in making, your own newspapers. You're, you're inaccurate. No, sir, that's inaccurate. That was not true. Well, I'll take your, uh, I'll take your word for it. I mean, obviously, I do not have yeah. the, uh, you know, newspaper reports in front of me, but I do follow the Pakistani newspapers fairly closely. And I, as I said, all four, uh, all four the of them of were proven. All, sir, all, uh, if, all if four I, of them, I, I assure you, all four here. of them were proven, uh, were proven well, to be ordinary better. citizens and, and there was no follow-up on the case. It was case closed. I think you're indulging in a conspiracy theory <laughs> that has no basis. Uh, well, the I real mean, issue uh, here is... The real issue here is that <laughs> India is a huge country where you have an ethnic problem. I think the Indian government, instead of uh, spending of course, 300 the, uh, the, a, a, a billion dollars on, that a, on is a exactly moon mission my point. or a Mars or a Mars mission, you should My really concentrate and that spend India that has money on assimilating the Indian population and your nationhood. But and why would, why, would, why would Indian citizens harass your northeastern migrants? I mean, that's a real problem. North, Mr. Singh, in your northeast, you have one third of India really covered by insurgencies. I mean, you're talking about implosion. In, in have, you well, you, have you ever been there? Have you ever visited that? No, look at, look at have your you country. Have you ever been to you that have part? A, you have a nuclear... Uh, sir, Mr. Singh, See, without, you, have a, you have a with nuclear... Partial you knowledge, have an Indian nuclear you are basing, scientist who was kidnapped. You are basing your but, responses... Sir, you are basing Singh, Mr. Singh, your responses you have, on extremely prejudiced... You have an prejudiced, Indian nuclear scientist extremely prejudiced reasoning. from a nuclear installation. No, sir. No, sir. You have no idea at all what kind of a country India is. I'm sorry. Let's no, stop India comparing chalk and cheese. A, Please pay sir, attention to Pakistan. No, Get your no, act sir, together you in Pakistan. Let not India. Hindus no, flee. No, 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 I've been Singh, defending on the television here. India. The fleeing sir, of Hindus you from your country. Can you look after you the have, minority? You, you have a Hindi, a, a minority Hindi speaking. Shouting doesn't make it logical. All right, Mr. Singh, you if we can just allow. You have no clue what you're dealing with. If I can just jump in. Can I just jump in briefly? All right, Ahmed Qureshi, if you can just put forward your argument and let's have Mr. Singh respond to it's, it. It's, 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 it's very simple. Uh, the, the ruling elite in New Delhi, unfortunately, it belongs to the minority Hindi-speaking population of northern India. And that uh, minority ruling elite has caused frictions within the major ethnic and linguistic groups of India. You have Indian Christians alienated, Indian Sikhs, Indian Muslims, and you have, of course, now one third of Eastern India completely embroiled in insurgencies and, and separatist movements. You have almost more than 100 uh, terror or insurgent or separatist movements in, in the eastern one-third of India. You have an Indian nuclear scientist that was kidnapped in that region. Case. Certainly, certainly Pakistan now, had nothing to do with that. Certainly tribe. Pakistan, certainly Pakistan was not kidnapping anyone there. Tribe. And I think, and I think, and I think it, it, it'll, it'll be, it'll be very useful for India to really focus and not try to unite the Indians in a difficult time. And I agree, and I really, uh, my heart goes out to the people right now who are suffering because of the exodus. But I think it, it will not help India's case if you try to unite your people in this difficult time by, by pinpointing at a foreign uh, created enemy, as in Pakistan, for example, in this case. Pakistan really has nothing to do with, with the, any social media campaign uh, to, to so, sort of cause or incite hundreds of thousands of Indians to leave their cities. A very tense situation, no doubt. We'll have to leave our debate, though, on this issue here for now. Let me thank all of my guests in New Delhi, Casey Singh, in London, Subir Sinha, and in Islamabad, Ahmed Qureshi. And thank you.